Hello everyone and greetings from one of the It's a Dry Heat states. I'm Jesse Parent and I'm with Salt City Slam and we had a generous donation to help us get to the National Poetry Slam in Cambridge, Massachusetts from my friend Mary Ward. I've known Mary since the beginning of my slam career where she helped me on the gotpoetry.com forums. Uh, and uh, she holds a very special place in my heart for helping me edit one of my poems, Gallows Humor. So thank you, Mary. And Mary's donation was to get a custom chapbook. That's right. This is Mary's custom chapbook, Eggs, Oil, and Poetry. Uh, and she goes by Mayo uh, a lot of times on the message board. So I thought maybe she would get a kick out of that. Um, and if you want to also donate and get a chapbook of poetry, there you go. There's a bunch of poems that you will get uh, written by members of the Salt City Slam. This is a poem from Mary, and it is called God in His Cubicle. God in His Cubicle looks very busy. There are papers, scrolls, tablets everywhere. He types furiously at his computer, triple 30-inch monitors it's as if he has the whole world stretched out in front of him. His inbox is always full. Bold lettering shows all the ones he'll never read the full content of. He just skims the subjects and scrolls, declines all the meeting alerts. He actually hasn't gone to one since that Mount Sinai retreat. It was supposed to be a team builder where you list a set of important goals and rules, but no one ever follows them. He still has the appreciation award they presented to him, a golden paperweight collecting 40 years of dust. You never know how soft his hands are, his palms a smooth cushion of idle days no longer branching in dry, kindling calluses, his face neither cracked or weathered as if the sun only ever shone from him. There are saints who empty the trash can around 540, and he takes a second to smile and speak a broken babble to them, show how much he is still in touch as the computer chimes another email received and waiting. There are pictures and mementos pinned to the wall, reminders of a sun he hardly sees, but it's okay. He has a virgin nanny he simply adores. So many wooden knickknacks and tchotchkes, he sometimes wonders how the boy made so many. There's even one of two sticks fashioned together, simple, elegant, yet worn with the look of something cared for, worshipped. You'll have to remember to get the story behind it one day. He works late into the day, stretches like taut prayer beads, and decides to take a break and get some rest. Passes Peter, stationed at the front desk, guarding an unbusy door. Makes awkward small talk about the weather and plans for the weekend. Walks past the front of the building, past the well-kept garden no one ever goes into. Looks fondly at the clay soil and remembers what real work used to feel like as his thumb absently strokes the soft cushion of his palm. His phone chimes hymnals in his back pocket, another message. He almost checks this one, but it's time to go. He'll be back again soon enough. He wonders if anyone notices when he's there anyway. So that was a poem for Mary Thank you again, and thank you for listening. If you would like to also donate to the cause to get the Salt City Slam to uh, go to the National Poetry Slam, please check out the feedthemuse.net uh, slash Salt City Slam website or the Bandcamp, uh, saltcityslam.bandcamp.com website, and you can also donate, and hopefully we can do something in exchange for your money. Thank you very much.